Today we want to discuss about anti-malarian hormone, which is a lab test that we are doing on infertility. If you have a friend, you have your girlfriend, you have your neighbor, you have your sister, and they are failing to produce, apart from other hormones, you can also do anti-malarian hormone to monitor if there are ovarian reserves. So if they are egg, these are the germ cells for what we can call reserves. We know the ladies are born with many ovaries. So during, during menstruation cycle, we see there is production or growth of some multiple ova during the first five days. Then by seventh day, we, they choose a dominant follicle. So we are seeing this dominant follicle, the maturing follicles are the one that produce anti-malarian hormone. So these cells have what we call granulosa cells. And these granulosa cells, which are mature we, we, on the maturing ovum, they are the one producing anti-malarian hormone, which we are abbreviating as AMH. So the more cells continue to mature, the more the anti-malarian hormone increases. So when we do your test of anti-malarian hormone, which is being produced by the maturing ova, and we find it is low, it means the egg reserves are finished. So when it is very low, that is below 0 0.5 nanograms per mil, the range, the, the, the reference or the units is nanogram per mil, below 0 0.5 here, you have reached menopause. And this days we are seeing many ladies of age 25, age 28, entering early menopause. So if you are there, you are failing, you are having no menses for six months, for one year, or they are very irregular, you can, and you have tried to produce and nothing is coming out, or you are failing to get pregnant, you can utilize this anti-malarian hormone, lab test. So after doing it, you find it is very low. It means egg reserves are done. So for you, there is no chance of producing. But if it is less than between 0 0.5 to 1 nanogram per mil, here you have limited chances. You have little chance of getting pregnant. Then when it is between 1 to 3 nanogram per mil, here it is normal. Here you are very safe. You can get pregnant. Then when it is high, that is three to six. This is high. Here still you can get pregnant. It is normal, meaning the cells are maturing. But greater than six or nine nanogram per mil, it means the ovary is producing many multiple ova, which is not necessary. And because they are many, they are producing much anti-malarian hormone. That's why it is going greater than six nanogram per mil. And this one is seen in a condition known as PCOS what we call polycystic ovarian syndrome. You have had people with the PCOS, meaning their ova produces many eggs at the same time, which leads to very high anti-malarian hormone. So the two things we can use anti-malarian hormone is to detect the egg reserves or to rule out polycystic ovarian syndrome. So you can always utilize this in case you have your friends who are facing a challenge of producing and they are having, they are experiencing prolonged menses are not coming out, or they are taking long without getting menses. You can always utilize anti-malarian hormone to see if they still have ova in their ovary. Thank you so much for learning with us. Like the video and follow us for more learning. Thank you so much.